And good morning, welcome to workout number two. This is a full body program. Now remember, we're alternating weeks with weeks of going for repetitions, 20 or better, and also weeks with a little bit heavier weight where we're shooting for eight to 12 repetitions. So keep that in mind as I do the exercises. Um, I want you to be able to make sure you're getting through your reps, you're being safe about it, but you're also using good form and absorbing the weight. So move the weight slowly, but with a precise pattern. So now our first exercise, it's just gonna be a body weight squat. So now we've got a little mat or a board that we're gonna elevate our heels on for our body weight squat. So we elevate our feet, we're gonna throw our arms forward, bring our knees apart, shoot the hips back, squat nice and deep, okay? I'll give you a side angle of that one so you can kind of see where my back position is nice and straight. So the body weight squat, we wanna shoot for high repetitions. So up to 20 or better, while we're doing it. Now, if you want to add weight to this, we can always grab a light dumbbell and then push it through until we reach eight to 12, okay? Or we can double rack two weights at the same time. Super easy on that one. Now, our next exercise is going to be a dumbbell stiff legged deadlift. So we've got two dumbbells. We're not using our blocks this time. This time we're using the hips predominantly and we're throwing those hips back to the rear Shoulder width stance, bracing the core, pushing our hips back, and coming back up. So again, 20 reps with the lighter weights, eight to 12 repetitions with the heavier weights. That way we're getting a little mix of both strength and muscle growth, and also muscular endurance. So make sure this exercise is not getting into your back. You wanna isolate it into the hips, so be sure that you don't fold over at the back and you're not going too far down so that you get into your back. It's predominantly working the hamstrings in the back of the legs. All right, for our next exercise, we're gonna need our bench adjusted to about 45 or better on the pressing action. We're gonna sit down with our dumbbells, kick our dumbbells over the shoulders, lean back, and then we're just pressing straight up into the air. So we wanna make sure that our, we have just a slight lean with our bench, that way we stay in a safe range for the shoulders. We're simply driving those dumbbells up overhead. So use a weight you can handle. And again, your heavier sets, you're cruising for eight to 12, your lighter sets, you're cruising for 20. And you're gonna alternate weeks with those. Okay, so we're always breathing out on exertion. So we hit our desired rep range, bring them down, set them on the upper thighs, and we're good to go. So now our next exercise, we're just gonna have to adjust our bench a little bit. We're simply gonna drop it down to about 30 degrees. That way we have a position to lie on. We're gonna crawl all the way in here so that our chest is supported and do a little chest supported prone row. Now in this one, we're really pulling from the shoulders and the upper back muscles. So we're driving those elbows back, giving our back a good squeeze. When we finish our set, we just drop the dumbbells down and we walk away from the bench. So now the angle that you want your elbows is not gonna be super high in this one. It's gonna be down low, so you're pulling close to the ribs as we row, squeezing the shoulder blades nice and tight on each repetition. Okay, so our next one, we can leave our bench at 30 degrees We'll probably need a little lighter dumbbell set for this as we're going to be engaging the tricep predominantly. So we're just going to cruise up into that overhead position again, only the dumbbells are going to be rotated neutral. You're going to bring the dumbbells down by the head and extend. It's a little dumbbell skull crusher. Okay? You should feel this in the back of your arms. Resist the dumbbells as they come down over by the earlobes and then just extend the arms. Make sure to keep your elbows pointed up toward the ceiling as you're extending. Now on this one, this is a high rep only move. I'm gonna suggest only doing 15 to 20 reps with this one, as well as the exercises that come to follow. Our next exercise, we can keep our light dumbbells or maybe a little heavier. We're just doing a little bicep curl. We're getting a palm up pattern, keeping the elbows squeezed into the ribs, and we're repping those out. 15, 20 reps here. Making sure to take time to squeeze the dumbbells at the top, lower them slowly, 
and squeeze them back up. Okay? The pace should be about like this. So about one second on the way up, two seconds on the way down. One, one, two. One, one, two. Okay, and a small top squeeze at the top. All right, for our last exercise in this workout, we're just gonna do a plank. So we're gonna hop down on the ground and perform a nice elbow plank, okay? Make sure you have something that's comfortable to set your elbows on so you're not resting on a hard floor. That way, you're not bruising yourself up. And we're just gonna extend from the elbows back into the feet, keeping the core nice and tight. A little air in there, brace around the abs, the obliques, squeeze your bum, tighten your quads, hold for as long as possible. And then once you're done, you just crawl up. So we'll walk through the exercises one more time. If you're gonna do more sets, just hit replay on the, on the YouTube channel and go through it again. So I'm gonna suggest three sets through. Once they get a little bit easier, you can cruise through four or five sets. All right, so we'll start with our bodyweight squats. Remember, we're, our heels are up on a little platform. Throw the knees out, hip back, and squat nice and deep. Also, extend your arms. That way, you're getting a little bit of balance in there too. It'll help you balance a little better. Cruise through our 20 reps here. And then we're gonna go into those stiff-legged deadlifts with our dumbbells. Good, excellent work. Hit our set of 20. Grab our dumbbells. Now make sure, if you need a rest, take a little bit of rest in between there. I'm just gonna cruise through these ones. That way you have an idea of what's going on. You can always pause the video if you need a little extra rest. So, but ideally we wanna keep you moving as best we can and getting all those muscles worked out. So hip at the back. Small amount of knee bend. Don't let them bend too much. You want to isolate those hamstrings. Nice smooth repetitions. Excellent. Now we're going to go into our shoulder press. We have to adjust our bench up again. Get it to a little bit above 45 or 45. Kick the dumbbells up to the shoulders. Pressing straight up overhead. Ideally, you should have a little break in 90 at the bottom with the shoulder blades pinched back and extending those weights up overhead. Get to our desired rep range. Bring the dumbbells down to the knees. Set them on the ground. We're going to readjust our bench. 30 degrees and go right into our prone row. Now remember, we want to be driving with the back, so pull with your shoulder blades and elbows. So you get a nice brace position, chest is up, pulling those dumbbells back up to the rear, squeezing nice and tight. down and get ready for our dumbbell skull crushers. So now remember you might need a little lighter weights for these ones. So we transition the dumbbells up overhead, bring them down by the earlobes, extend straight up to the ceiling. Don't let your elbows transition. Don't let them move down here. Keep your elbows pointed straight up toward the ceiling as you're extending your arms. Bring them down into the tuck position when you're done. Sit up and keep those dumbbells for your curls. Remember you're pinching your rib cage with your elbows as you're squeezing and lowering the weights. Nice and tight. You can make even a, heavy, a light set of dumbbells feel really heavy by controlling the motion more. A good little squeeze there at the top. Resist them on the way down, squeeze to the center. Good. All right. Set our dumbbells down, and we go right into our planks. So 
So get your elbows set, get your shoulder blades packed, extend out with the feet, brace your core, squeeze your bum, tighten your legs, hold as long as you can. Could be a minute, could be two minutes. The main thing is just to challenge your core and make it do a little bit more. When you're done, come down. And that's the end of workout number two. Okay, so try to push through one more set. If you need more cueing, go ahead and hit replay and go back through the entire sequence. All right, see you soon.